So basically what I'm doing here is I'm going to be doing some cuttings and I'm going to be doing them in water just in some ball jars and I just have a quick setup with uh, four ball jars. Just got back from Walmart and picked up a little aquarium bubbler with a couple of you know, splitters and each one's got its own little air stone. The reason we're doing that is we want to keep the water super oxygenated and it'll encourage a lot of a lot of fast growth of the roots. So just literally doing a small thing here with four of them just on this table. And I picked this spot because it's super shady. And then I got this bucket that I'll literally just set over that whenever we're doing that. And that's I got a little inverter set up for, for running the fence charger for the electric fence. So that's pretty much the only reason it's here is just because of uh, opportunity. And I'll go show you some of the plants we're going to be cutting some uh, cuttings off of. All right, very important step. Let's turn this power off. All right, so yeah, we got some of the plants moved up here to the plant nursery. And I'll kind of go through them and tell you which different types we got just real briefly. But I'll be doing some cuttings off of this. This is a hybrid willow. And then uh, that line is a line of uh, different crab apples. We got hybrid poplar, which is a really good fodder tree, grows super fast. Arguably the best fodder tree is a white mulberry. Uh, it was developed for the silk trade for thousands of years, super digestibility. We'll be doing some cuttings off of that. There's a olive tree that we got on a farm trip and back in Florida, so that made the trip with us. Uh, here we got some black locusts. We'll be planting those out for some lumber in the future. Most of y'all probably know what this is, this is elderberry. So I'll be doing some cuttings off of that. This is actually, is called a uh, butterfly bush. As you see, it gets tons of flowers on it and you can't smell through a camera, but if you could, you'd be impressed because this thing smells like, uh, it smells like it should be in some lotion or something. So yeah, and then we got some, uh, Ragosa rose, you can use the rose hips for vitamin C, or you can use it as like a security type plant because it is like covered in thorns. We're gonna plant this silver maple somewhere. It's really good color in the fall and you can get maple syrup out of it, about half as much as a lot of other species. But uh, yeah, so that's the beginnings, very beginnings of the plant nursery. Going to be taking some cuttings off of that. Some of these today and just kind of do an experiment. Some of them will be softwood cuttings, some will be hardwood cuttings, just to uh, experiment, see how they do. So I'll check back in once I've done some cuttings. There you go, got our first species done. Uh, the first one I did was a uh, hybrid willow. And what you're looking for whenever you do cuttings is uh, you, you want to get in between a, uh, probably about a, a, like a size of a pencil and you don't want to go below the size of like the lead inside the pencil. And I literally just cut one branch off and some of these are probably a little skinnier than what you typically would do, but whatever, I got room in the bolt in the um, jar, so we'll see how they do, it's just an experiment. So as soon as you cut it, if you're cutting a whole bunch of these, you want to carry like a bucket with water in it. As soon as you cut it, throw it in the bucket. Um, I'm just doing these one at a time and I'm not doing a lot, so just did it, uh, just cut one branch off. We'll see how we get out of this, check back probably on the daily, see whenever roots start poking out. And then uh, usually you just leave a couple of leaves on each one, one or two. And uh, that's all that's been stripped off. That'll go over to the rabbits here in just a little bit. See if these girls want to eat anything. It's kind of hot, hot time of day. So I don't know if they're really going to be into it or not, but if not, they'll get to it later. Here you go, Violet. Oh yeah, she's digging it. All right, back to the propagating. All right, next one I'm doing is gonna be, it's a hybrid poplar. And that's, this is basically what we're starting off with here and I'll show you what we end up with. And that's what we ended up with, about four different cuttings of different sizes. So we'll see how those turn out. And here's the whole mess of leaves. Let's go see how the rabbits like these. Uh, I see that Violet finished the pile of hybrid willow that I gave her. Let's see if she likes these. Oh, yep. Did. Yep, definitely likes them. Can we eat one? Yeah, I think Misty's a little too hot. Yeah, I'm not eating right now. 
These guys ate most of it. There you go, guys. Here. You want to give it to Violet? Go ahead. Come on. Give it to him. Sorry, guys. We're on toddler time here. Nothing is fast. Next one I'm going to be doing is the white mulberry, just to uh, make sure nobody's confused. This is not the white. It's not white mulberry, as in the berries are white. It's uh, a different type of plant. And then uh, toddler wants me to show you this spider, because we are in the land of spiders. These things are everywhere. All right, I'll check back in and show you how many we got. And there's what we ended up with: about six mulberry cuttings. There's a couple others that are. Uh, they're probably way too small, so I'm not even going to try. And then we got this mess of uh, fodder leaves for the rabbits. Alright, let's see how she likes the mulberry. She didn't wipe out all the poplar like she did the first, but she might be getting a little full. Yep, another seal of approval from Violet. Misty still says it's too hot. All right, off to the next species of tree. All right, last of all today, I'm doing the butterfly bush. You can see the, that's more like the older growth, and then we go down to more of the soft, soft wood, and then here's that flower. I picked one that was almost completely done because it smells so good, I hate cutting it off. But I'll show you what I get. And to finish off, that's what we got, about five cuttings. And uh, these leaves will not be going to the rabbits as they are not a fodder tree. Uh, I've not looked up whether or not you can feed it to them, but I'm not going to take a chance. So I'll do a kind of a checkup each day, see how these are doing, and uh, we'll see how it turns out. Not the best time of year to be doing this in the summertime, but you know what? Make hay while the sun shines. You all have a good day.